Hey everybody, this is Jeff from the CSU Global Library again, and we're going to talk today about how to use PubMed to do research. And I'm talking today specifically about a healthcare management class. If you saw my other video uh, I did recently on EBSCO, this is a very similar. But we're going to be using a different database. So I'm looking at the same assignment <clears throat> for H HCM 570. And we have this assignment, option number one, under the critical thinking assignment in module four, uh, to uh, describe how you would approach the implementation of an electronic health record, EHR, create a list of tasks that need. So you're going to do some research on implementing an electronic health record system. OK, so last time we looked at EBSCO, let's look today at PubMed. PubMed is a great professional level database that's free online but it can be a little tricky to uh, search and we're going to talk about uh, the problems you might find with that. So we have it listed in our list of databases here. If you go to databases <clears throat> then to P, scroll down the list and there's PubMed right there. You could also uh, just Google PubMed. Like I said, it is a free database online So I'll just open it up right there. Now in PubMed, the biggest complaint people will have about PubMed is I've tried searching PubMed, but none of the articles are free. I can't find any full text, and it keeps asking me to log in or pay for the articles. I'm going to show you a way where you can use this, and you, you can find the free articles. There's just a little button you'll need to push. So I'm in PubMed. I'm going to go directly to Advanced Search. Now in advanced search, it's a little tricky. I, I like to use these search boxes down here. As I'm doing it, it'll format it up here. This is their search builder. It's kind of strange, but I'll, I'll use this. I'm going to accept, and it's not quite as easy to use as other database uh, search engines, but it, it does have some really great articles, especially for healthcare. That's what it really specializes in. I wouldn't really use this for too much else. Okay, so I'm going to tell it, since there's so many articles in here, I'm going to search just by title. Set that to title. And as we're typing this in, it's probably going to be adding it to the builder up here in its own little way. So, and just kind of keep your eyes up here. It's adding it to it. You don't really have to focus so much on that. You could bypass these boxes and put in title in those brackets, and it would do the same thing. But elect electronic in quotation marks health record and I'm going to put an asterisk at the end shift 8 so that we get any version of record in there as well put my quotation mark end there now I also want it also had listed in our assignment that electronic health record is often referred to as EHR Obviously, that's an acronym, abbreviation for this. Now, we can do OR in this, just like we would in other databases, but in PubMed, it likes to see your Boolean connectors, which is what this is. It's kind of a fancy library term for these little connectors. It likes to see them in all caps. So we're going to say OR, E-H-R. So, and you can see it formatted it up here in its search builder. If you, if you want to bypass this, you can just remember after your terms, you put in brackets, title, title or subject or whatever you're looking for. But I like using these boxes, electronic health record, we got an asterisk there, or EHR, has to be in the title. Let's do a search. Okay, I found 3,498 articles. Now, what we want to do, I want to, uh, work with that a little bit more and say go back to advanced search this is where it gets a little tricky so in the advanced search now I, I want to search with this again and it doesn't it doesn't just keep it in the search so what I would do I would add this to the builder right there because it keeps a record of what I did before so I'm going to add that. It's going to bring it back and put that in a box. It's a little, little annoying you have to do that, but that's the way it is. Notice that I just left that just as, as normal. It didn't set it to title because with those titles in brackets, it'll bypass that. Okay, now in the second box, I'm also going to set this to search in the title. And we're talking about implementation of an electronic health record system. So I'm going to put in implement. 
and I want implement, implements, implementation, implementing. I want any version of the word implement. So I'm going to put implement and then shift 8 and asterisk to get any version of the word implement. It's going to be in the title. Let's do a search here. So now we're starting to see some good things here. Implementation of a third generation EHR. Looking pretty good. Now here's here's where we get into the issues of yeah but I want to see these for free and a lot of these you're not going to find the full article in there. We've got 333, 323. So first thing I'm going to do this is the magic button right here. Click free full text. I only want to look at the ones I can get to for free. Click that. Now we're down to 128 less articles, but I really don't want to waste my time with ones that aren't actually going to be free to me to access. I also, I'm just, I'm just looking at humans. I don't want to see any veterinary medicine in there. So I'm going to say it has to be humans. Now we're down to 83. And then I only want the last five years of articles. So I'm going to click there. Okay. So uh, maybe I want to take a look at this article right here click on this and then you have to kind of jump through a few hoops to get the full text but there's a, there's a full text button right over here here's the links to the full text click there then I have to jump through another hoop here's the PDF right there so it makes you kind of go through a bit of an obstacle course but it is in there click the PDF and there's your article and you could download it print it off whatever you would do with a normal PDF. So that's that's how you use uh, PubMed to get articles you can actually access. There isn't uh, there, there isn't any kind of a citation builder that I can find within PubMed. What I would recommend is uh, just get the information from the article here. You could on the library website you could go to APA resources, click on reference examples, and then you could take a look at the scholarly article, uh, the sample reference here for these, and then base take the information that you have there in this article and just kind of put it into that same format. That's how I would use it. Or you could use a program like Zotero or if you have another uh, citation builder, but you probably want to double check it against this or another or the APA manual or something that you trust because a lot of times citation builders will make errors. Okay, well, hopefully that gets you started with this. I know PubMed can be a little scary, and that's the biggest thing I think that throws people off is how do you get the full text. But hopefully that will get you going, at least to get through a few assignments with this. As always, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll do my best to help you. Thank you.